Greetings and welcome to another edition of Science Sunday here in our capital city with Thomas. Good morning. Good morning. How's it going? Doing well. Um, so a little fun throwback to childhood, Play-Doh today. Yeah, we're going to be using Play-Doh to build some circuits today. All right. So the first thing we have to do, we already picked out our favorite colors and shapes. I've got a duck and you've got an airplane and green and pink. And so we're going to roll them out nice and flat and cut out our cookies. Okay. So if this is something folks can maybe try to do at home? Yes, this is a super easy, fun experiment to do at home. You do have to get a couple of pieces, but they're all super cheap online. Okay. And it's uh, a lot of fun. You can do it um, like over and over again. It's not just a one-time test. So. Gotcha. I didn't realize you had a roller. That's very helpful. <laughs> yes. And then once you get your cookie, you're just going to have to cut it into two pieces. All right, so you've got a duck. I opted for an airplane. And it could be right in half. It could be um, one big piece, one small piece. It doesn't matter. I'm going to go right down the aisle. How's that? Awesome. So, okay, so right down the aisle, cut the airplane, and like space them apart a little bit? A little bit, yeah. Okay. All right, there we go. So have you heard of a circuit before? Of course. A circuit, it's kind of a word where you might have heard it a lot, but we might not know what it means. A circuit, all it is is a circular path that electricity can travel through. Yeah. So here I've got some batteries, and we're going to make a circuit with these batteries and with my Play-Doh. So I'm going to plug one side into each piece of my Play-Doh. And right now, the electricity is escaping through the red wire. It's going out through the red wire and into this piece of Play-Doh. And it wants to go into this piece of Play-Doh so that it can go back through the black wire. So it wants to do this big circle. But these two pieces of Play-Doh aren't connected. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect them with a light bulb. We're going to let the electricity flow through the light bulb, and it'll turn the light bulb on. OK. You want to try it out? Or yeah, yeah. i got to get you the batteries, too. Oh, look at that. There we go. You want to try it on yours? Sure. Awesome. So go ahead and plug this one side into each and then throw on some light bulbs. So red side, blue side. All right, I'll grab a come in here. Oh, a little far. I've been a little farther apart. And so this one didn't work the first time. We're using LED bulbs, which are polar, which okay. means the electricity only travels one direction through them. So if it doesn't work the first time, just flip it around, flip it around. and it should turn on. And we have light. And this works because Play-Doh is conductive, just the same way that wires are. And this is because Play-Doh has a lot of water and salt inside, and salt water is super conductive. And that makes the Play-Doh super conductive as well. So, and, and just for the elephant in the room here, we can touch the Play-Doh. I mean, the electricity is not yeah, going to do Yeah, this is any. not enough electricity yeah. that you would ever feel it. So you can touch the Play-Doh. You can feel free to touch anything. You're yeah. never going to feel this amount of electricity. All right, so uh, completing the circuit. Yep. So very good. Uh, so folks did want to maybe try this at home, they would need to get a battery pack like this. A battery pack and a couple of LED light bulbs on Amazon, and that's all you need. Okay, good stuff. And of course, some, some Play-Doh, Play yes. maybe families that have kids, of course, uh, have a lot laying yeah. around. <laughs> uh, all right, so while we're wrapping things up this weekend at the Science Center, there's a really cool event happening this coming Saturday. Yes, we've got our Martial Arts Day coming up. So you can feel free to bring in your martial arts costume. We're going to have all sorts of demos from some local martial arts studios. And we'll even have Kung Fu Panda 4 playing in the movie theater. All right, so you can reserve your spot in advance, ctsciencecenter.org, and as well get, because the theater, if you want to see the movie, is an add-on. Yes, that's right. All right, easy enough. All right, Thomas, thank you so much. And, of course, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.